I have a major update coming out of Washington, D.C. and the state of Florida. Judge Eileen Cannon, who is overseeing Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago espionage case, has just ruled that the trial that was supposed to start in the spring of 2024 must be delayed. On Tuesday, Trump and his lawyers went into a skiff to privately review all the documents that were going to be used against the former president to try to say that he committed espionage and should be jailed for close to 700 years. After reviewing everything, there are over 1.3 million documents. There's over two years of video footage that must be reviewed, and Trump's lawyers requested that there's simply not enough time in less than a year to review 1.3 million documents and two years versus uh, uh, two years worth of camera footage. On top of that, uh, Judge Eileen Cannon said there has never in American history been two major criminal cases back to back in less than two months. There's simply no way to be in both places at the same time for the defendant, Donald Trump, or his attorneys. She's also incredibly unhappy with Jack Smith, who uh, snuck grand jury members who were biased against Trump down into Florida from Washington, D.C. in order to get the indictment. And then they have shown up to court unprepared to bring their case against Donald Trump on at least three occasions. So for these reasons, she is delaying Donald Trump's case.